Hey guys, it's Dwayne. What I'm gonna be doing with this next is I'm gonna be disassembling these heads. Uh, they're 823 heads or a square port head. Uh, the upgrade kit that we got from BTR is uh, keepers, locks, uh, dual springs, valve guide seals, and then also the uh, a shim or a seat that the spring sits on in this head. Um, I'll show you in time lapse um, how to disassemble this. Uh, it's pretty easy. I got a, I'm using an old school C clamp uh, valve spring compressor. They make some other ones that are kind of cool that, you know, will compress both springs at the same time. Um, those are pretty nice. You just kind of thread down the center bolt and it pushes down both springs. But I have this C clamp style and that's what I'm going to use. And it'll do into each one individually instead of pushing two down at once. But I'll show you how the, uh, I'm going to install the valve guide seals. Um, they're pretty easy to do. You push them down to hit the first click inside the valve guide seal. If you push them down too far, it distorts the seal and you'll have oil running down the valve stem. But I'll, uh, I'll stop the camera when I get to that point and I'll show you how I'm doing the valve guide seals and uh, we'll go from there. So one of the things I'm going to show you too is I got, <laughs> I got my nerd goggles on. One of the things I want to show you is um, once I got these valves out, a lot of guys might want to take them and go get a valve job, that, valve job, that kind of stuff. But what I'm doing is I'm lapping these valves. So I'm cleaning them up um, enough to get them uh, lapped. And I'll show you that lapping process. I'll show you what it looks like on the valve beforehand, and I'll show you what it looks like where the valve seat is and uh, what you're looking for. So uh, I'll get this camera turned around and I'll show you what I'm looking at. So what I'm trying to show you here, guys, is if I can get this into focus, is a valve that hasn't been cleaned up. And you can see it there. And then you, as you come around, you can kind of start to see some of those pits. I need to clean this up a little bit more. But that's where your exhaust valve is, you know, when it opens and closes, it starts to build pits in it. And it'll have the matching side of it. It's kind of like a fingerprint on the other, in the valve seat itself. So when you pull these out and you clean them up, that kind of thing, um, you know, if you don't pull them out of the head, you usually don't have an issue. But if you pull them out of the head, they're not going to go back in the exact same spot. And these things do rotate a little bit in the head when it's running. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'll show you what the lap looks like once this is done. And you'll see that the seating surface on this is all smooth, gives it a new place to start over again. And it's just, I guess it's a poor man's valve job. But you always want to kind of clean these up. I clean them up with this uh, 3M uh, pad. Some people say it's too rough. I've never had an issue with it. But um, this is uh, just a real light hit with it. And you want to clean up this stem right in here too. Because you don't know if it's going to come up further or go down further. And you don't want that old carbon uh, catching up in that stem so in that uh, guide. So uh, once I get these cleaned up, I'll show you how I do the lapping. And uh, it's just something that you can do. It's a little more cost effective than doing a valve job, but um, some people may like it and some don't. Okay guys, um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put some lapping compound around this thing here a little bit. Yes, you can clean these valves up a lot more. Um, you can clean up the, the uh, pockets um, a lot more and the uh, chambers here um, on the head but what I'm doing is I'm going to put some lapping compound around this and <laughs> I know this is going to freak some people out but I'm going to use this drill but ever so lightly I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on it and then I'll rotate this I'll put this on the lowest setting and I'll rotate it real slow in and out and then rotate it back again real slow in and out putting some pressure on this side of the valve and once i'm done i'll show you what the actual uh what it looks like and it'll get rid of 99 percent of these little pits that are in here um in the seat so or on this valve 
So I'll uh, do this real quick. I'll get it set up and I'll show you what I mean. And like I said, just a little bit of lapping compound. Put it on your finger and you just barely put it around this edge. You make sure you get it on 360 all the way around and you'll be able to hear it and feel it as this thing grinds down on the this lapping compound. I might need a little bit more, but as you go, you'll feel it smooth out. And as it smooths out, you let out a little bit on the pressure and then put it back and you'll feel it start grinding again. And you just wanna do that a little bit until you feel like you've got a pretty good uh, smooth surface. So we'll get this through here, set it in there. You can hear that. And I'm just turning it by hand. Normally the lappers are a, like a suction cup, but I'm not that patient. So I use this and I can move it in and out and I just real slow, you can hear it. Reverse. Feel it smooth out. Back. Get this cleaned up here. you can see where it's starting to put a line all the way around on this, that real light line all the way around. And you know, what you're looking at too is that same kind of line. It's a flat gray color um, on the inside of this head. And you can see it right there all the way around. There's a light gray line. And that's what you're looking for. And I'm gonna do this one a little bit more and Call it good, and I'll do the same thing to the intake, and then it's basically the same procedure. You disassemble one at a time, lap the valves, and then once you're ready for assembly, I'll show you how we do the valve stem seals, and I'll assemble it. All right, guys, there it is. See that light gray flat line that's around in there? You can see that it made a nice smooth, even uh, grind. But the thing is, with using this compound, you definitely need to get uh, all the compound out. Because if you don't, the problem you're going to have is all that stuff getting stuck in your valve stem seals. And so you don't want that in your valve stem. All right. So here's the dual springs. This is the spring retainer. This is the spring seat that sits down right here. So you can drop that on there. Drop this one on there. Be sure you get these on first. And these are the keepers that come in the kit. The two little, there's a bunch of them there. So I'll show you this tool. It's kind of nice. This sits in there and it pushes just right on this edge right there. So you set this. Get it square, you take this, and then if you just watch, you put a little bit of pressure on it. There, went down to the first pop. It sat there and it's on there. It took a little bit of pressure, but not bad. And it clicked down one time. And you do that for both of these. And this tool keeps from ruining this spring that keeps the tension on this. And then it also helps you to put pressure on it 
um, without distorting any of this. And you get it on there square. You put this down on there. There, that's all there is to it, okay? So when you go to assemble it, I always put just a little bit of lubrication on these just because it's empty in there. Make sure that you do your cleaning from all the lapping and that. And then you slide your valve up inside. Goes right through there, there, okay? Set your spring on there, your keeper or your retainer. You get your tool and you squash it down and drop your keepers in. And that's all there is to it. You just do the same process from disassembly to lapping the valves to cleaning everything to reassemble all the way through this process. Some people like to do it all at once. So they're just cleaning one time. Helps maybe to keep stuff from getting in there as you go. You know, you don't get other dirt and stuff in there. I like to do it one at a time and just take my time and be clean. So hope this helps. And I'm going to go through this process. Then we'll uh, get to the process of putting the heads on. We did stud this motor, you know, didn't need to. But I'll show you the ARP studs and the process and going through that. Okay guys, this is the end result. After all that, just, you know, like I said, lapping valves, cleaning it out, <clears throat> putting the stem seals in, stem seals in, and then reassembling all the valves. Um, this is the end product. So what I'll do now is um, we'll go over here and I'll show you, this is where we're at on this. I've already, pre-lubed and dropped the lifters into place and um, these are the uh, lifter retainers There's, you can see the tops of the lifters down in there and you can see that on these they have the notches in them so it's obvious which way these go um, but what we're going to do is we're going to install the head gasket and then put the head on it and ARP uh, says once the head's sitting on it um, to install all the the studs. I mean, on this side, you can see I've already done this side. Everything's all assembled, and uh, um, I'll show you that assembly. <laughs> 